Dr. Marty Jopson has the story of a hidden tube network inspired by a giant of the industrial age. Isambard Kingdom Brunel's most iconic feats of engineering are still keeping Britain moving. But when he tried the bold move of using a vacuum tube instead of steam to push passengers along, he came unstuck. In 1847, he built what was grandly called an atmospheric railway, with passenger carriages pushed along by the difference in air pressure inside a pneumatic tube below. This is how Brunel's system worked. You had a pipe with a piston inside it. You pump the air out from one end, atmospheric pressure pushes the piston down the pipe and drags the carriages along. But the problem was the flap here that sealed the pipe up was made of leather. In winter it cracked and in summer the rats ate it. The whole thing shut after just a year. But this technology found a new home inside large department stores. Small sealed tubes could carry capsules of cash from the shop floor to a trusted cashier in the cash office preventing pilfering. By the 1930s, there were thousands of these systems in stores across Britain, and they remained a common sight right into the 1970s. I have a vague recollection of these things when I was a kid, but... <sighs> but are they any use today? Jackson's, which opened in 1875, is still serving customers today and has one of the last few working examples of these pneumatic tube systems. Uh, in this uh, building we have a lot of small departments and stairs and while we have uh, a couple of tills on the ground floor, most of the building we use this system. All right, so there's no till here, no. but I could still buy If I gave you, here look, if I gave you that five pound note, could you send that off to the till? Oh and indeed, yes, yeah. so you put it in, a, in the canister. Right. Oh, let me do it. Let me. Can I do it? Let oh, you do can, it. yeah. What do uh, I do? In that, it, put it in the corner there. That. Just pop it in the corner. Yeah, pop it in there. <laughs> let go. Uh, <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, it's on the way to the cash desk now. The canister carrying the cash whizzes from the shop floor to the cash office upstairs, where the cashier takes the money and sends the receipt and change back along the tube. Oh look, he's back. <laughs> look at that. She sent me a little, a little message. <laughs> and look, and change, and, and oh, look. Well, we don't always get a switch. That depends who you are. <laughs> well, that is a very neat system. Jackson's is closing at the end of the year. Its pneumatic tube system, a reminder of an era before the invention of the electronic till. But the till didn't get rid of pneumatic tubes completely. These days, pneumatic tube systems are used in places like hospitals to carry samples around and in large supermarkets for bulk cash carrying. The point is, they're all around us, we just don't see them anymore. Time for the one show to change that. Here's one we built earlier. For one day only, we thought we would install one of these extraordinary tube systems into a pub to see what fun we can have. Can I get um, an orange juice and lemonade and a packet of pork scratchings, please? No the capsule fits neatly inside the pipe and a motor at one end sucks out the air, creating a vacuum. The difference in air pressure propels the capsule and my snacks along. I only hope our experiment gives a budding publican the idea to try this on a more permanent basis. <laughs> Brilliant. Look at that. Drink straight to the table. And a one show first, I think. Pork scratchings delivered by pneumatic transport system. Fantastic. This is an amazing machine. Although the service sucked. <laughs>